We're going to talk about second grade and that cycle, concrete, representational, and abstract. Subtraction takes kids out. It shouldn't, but it does. Part of it is that for whatever reasons, oftentimes we spend more time on addition than on subtraction when we really should spend an equal amount of time and we should be constantly making relationships. I want to show you concrete representational abstract with the concept of what happens when you take 10 away from a T number. And as you can see, I have it set up here. So I've got the number 12. And I want kids to see if I've got the number 12 and I take 10 away, I only have two left. If, right, so I have all my counters here. If I have 13 and I take 10 away, I have three left. If I have 14 and I take 10 away, I have four left. I want them to get that idea. I'm going to have them get up and act it out on the wreck and wrecks that they can stand on in the classroom. I'm going to have them act it out with manipulatives. I want this, them to see it. I want them to talk about it. I want them to ask questions. I want them to do it. And I want them to do it over and 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 over again. And they get the idea. Oh, if you take that, this, all that's going to be left is the ones. You took the den away. Then I am going to take this paper, which has all the team numbers on it. And I'm going to say, so I had 11 and I took 10 away. What was left? I had 12, 16, and I took 10 away. What was left? I have now moved from the concrete to the representational. I am going to have them draw 11 things on a um, 10 frame paper. And I'm going to have them cross 10 of them out so they can see, oh, only the ones are left. Concrete pictorial. Abstract, I'm going to have them write the number sentence. I am going to show them flashcards. And I'm going to say, show me what that looks like. Like, just show me. And I'm going to say, explain what that looks like. Tell me. And I'm going to say, do you have any questions? What do you notice? Is there a pattern here? Is something seeming to, like, always happen? I'm going to then continue working with abstract with the zero card. You know, I like this, the hidden zero cards. So this is the number 12. If I take 10 away, what's left? Two, right? So the point is concepts are built. Kids develop conceptual understanding by doing the thing. This little move right here, pulling that away, they begin to understand. If I have 17 and I take away the 10, I only have the ones left. That's basic. That has to be done. Remember that the research said, there's nothing basic. Crespo et al said, there's nothing basic about basic facts. <laughs> Do the math with your kids, concretely, pictorially, and abstractly.